Have you ever heard about dogs being trained to use a litter box? Well, once everyone on Hazel's TikTok and Instagram found out that she uses a litter box to go to the bathroom, they wanted to know all about it. <laughs> And so we asked a bunch of people on our Instagram to put in questions on what they wanted to know. We got a ton of responses. I narrowed it down to five main questions. I'm going to try to answer majority of the questions within this, but if there's anything that I missed, please comment below and let me know what you want to know. <laughs> now, I do wanna note that I am in no way a professional on how to train dog litter boxes. I have only had experiences with a few dogs throughout my life, so I'm just gonna try my best to answer these questions for you. You can go to your vet and ask them as well, but I will also do my best to answer those for you. I also want to say that I don't think this is the number one way that you should train your dog to use the bathroom. You know, it's still good to have your dog go outside and use the bathroom, but everyone has different circumstances, different living situations. This is just something that is a great alternative that you can choose if you want to. So the first question that I wanna start off with is something that we actually get asked a lot, and it's probably the number one question that we get all the time, which is, why did we train her to even use a litter box? Why not just take her outside? So there's actually a few reasons why we trained her to use this. The main thing is that we live in an apartment on the top floor and there is quite a ways for the potty area for pets. And so it just became very difficult when, you know, she was a puppy, she had much small bladder than now. And it also rains and is very cold here a lot of the time. So having to take her outside at two in the morning when it is raining, when she was a puppy, that just makes things a lot more difficult. So we literally just did this for pure convenience. Another big reason is that whenever we would be gone for a very long day, then we wouldn't have to worry about her having to hold her bladder for an extended amount of time. We would just let her walk around the house and whenever she needed to go, she could just go. So question number two, does Hazel have any accidents in the house? Yes. So first of all, I want to throw out there that every dog is a little bit different with sometimes having accidents in the house. So growing up, I actually had two different dogs that were trained to use a litter box and both of them did really well and actually never really had any accidents outside of the box. I also want to note that just other dogs that don't know how to use a litter box, sometimes that they have accidents in the house as well. So I don't want this to make it seem like the fact that we have a litter box, she has more accidents. I think it's just all dependent on the dog, the situation. Um, and then also on top of that, Hazel being a diva. <laughs> so I have found out that Hazel will actually have accidents if her box gets too dirty for her liking. So we actually change her box every five days. If it gets a little bit too dirty for her, she will protest and she will go outside of her box. Anytime that she goes outside of her box, it is very rare if it's pee. Now on top of that, I will also say that Hazel is more of like a now or never having to go poop type of dog. And some of the time she doesn't make it in there very quickly or she doesn't get in far enough, so it kind of like falls outside of her box. And also, I wanna say whenever her box gets too dirty, that means that there is pretty much mostly urine in there. Whenever she goes number two in her box, we always pick that up pretty much right away. Your toy. Okay, so question number three, what is it filled with and what do we use? So currently it is filled with Aspen wood shavings and that is what we use most of the time. Don't come for me is different than pine and cedar wood shavings. We have tried a few other materials which have been okay. One of them was paper crumble and that didn't really mask the smell too well. We've also tried the cat litter that clumps up when they pee in it which has been really nice, but that one sticks to her paws a lot. So we've noticed that that gets tracked throughout the house a little bit more. Now for the people that don't know, pine and cedar wood shavings has chemicals that are toxic to dogs. It affects their respiratory system. I calculated how much it is per month and we typically use about a gallon of this each time which lasts for about six months. So really per month, we only pay a little over $2, which is nice. 
Now, as far as the box liners, there's a bunch of different kinds that you can get. As you will notice, if you get a box that is much bigger, there's not really that many liners that actually fit it that are a decent price. So we get this brand because we just cut the seams down the middle. So it becomes a flat sheet and we set it down, we fill the box, and then once we're done, we just take the liner, pick it up, toss it. Now in total, each month with the box liner and the material inside, it usually costs about $5 a month. Not for the base. So this was very tricky to find. I don't know if you're familiar with cat litter boxes, but apparently the bigger the cat, the higher the walls that they make it. Now this is actually not considered a cat litter box. I found this on this website called Doggy Bathroom. This is actually a base to one of their bathrooms. It is made of silicone, so it doesn't slide at all. It is flexible, it is also very low, and it is a very good size. I also want to throw out there, I am no way sponsored with this company, but Doggy Bathroom, if you want to work with me, let me know. Good girl. Good girl. And that brings us to question number four. Can male dogs use a litter box? I don't know. <laughs> I've only dealt with female dogs using this. There's two that I dealt with growing up, and Hazel is also a female as well. As far as males using one of these litter boxes, obviously that'd be very tricky because most of them lift their legs. Now mentioning doggy bathrooms, they have bathrooms that are much higher walls and you can put like pee pads on them that have hooks on the top and then male dogs can use them as well. They can lift their leg and go to the bathroom in there. Otherwise, I feel like if you were to go this route, it'd be very tricky. If you know that your male dog kind of squats as well, then sure. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, you were the star of that. Yes, you were. Good job. Question number five, which is our last question. How did you even train Hazel to use a litter box? So the big thing with training Hazel is that we started out right away. We brought her home when she was eight weeks old and we started training her literally that night. We bought a litter box and everything to go with it and I set her in there that night. So there are a few key points throughout the day that you'll want to put your dog in the box when they wake up in the morning, after they eat or drink anything, and then before bed. If you have the suspicious look sniffing going on, you'll want to put them in the box. They'll want to jump out, you'll keep putting them back in there, and then once they finally go, you will give them a treat, say yes, so that they know that this is something that they should be doing. I will say you'll need a lot of patience for this because your dog will want to jump out many, many times. <laughs> It took a bit for Hazel, but she caught on actually fairly quickly. Now, as far as training older dogs, so I've never dealt with this situation for an older dog. I would say that you'll need more patience with an older dog because obviously they're not used to something like this. I don't think that it would be impossible. I think it would just take more time. I definitely consider giving it a try. It wouldn't hurt. Another thing that you can do, you can actually buy patches of grass and you can get a litter box, put that patch of grass in there and then they can go and then you can gradually start using the litter that you want to use and just still reward them with going to the bathroom that way. You can also try taking a litter box and bringing it outside and having them use the box outside and then gradually, you know, bring it inside and try it that way as well. The big thing is rewarding when they use it. Like I said, I've never tried that specifically. I don't know if that would work, but it's something that is definitely worth trying. All right, well, that is all the questions that I have. Thank you so much for watching. If you could like the video, that would be amazing. If there's anything that I didn't touch on that you want to know still, then please comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions. And please subscribe to our channel. That would literally mean everything to Hazel and I. Let your friends know, get the word out. We hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Good job, Hazel. You were a true star.